Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsus here, and welcome back to Factorio. Last time we built our first factory for green science, and we made sure that we do have enough power also for the next step. Next step is blue science, also known as chemical science. And I took the liberty of taking a peek uh, how this this looks like um, and this seems like a reasonable setup as always I'm looking at how many furnaces I am uh, requiring here um, Maybe we will turn this down a bit to uh, 1.5. Um, or even just one. So we have the 20 furnaces for, for iron and then everything else tails into that. And that then also scales down a bit the uh, need of uh, materials that we, we need here. Uh, we can see this is quite a, a, a process that takes a few steps. We need to scroll here. Uh, once again, we need the green circuits, we need the red circuits. Um, probably not reusing the same setup we we have built before but one challenge that we are facing is we have five input materials plus one output and the way these science factories work is output is on one side because uh, we want to have one uh, space here for stacking so that basically means um, we need to fit the uh, the four or the five inputs on three sides and it's doable it's not really that comfortable uh, but I think we can uh, water and the uh, petroleum gas go together because uh, we need both here for the sulfur and then probably coal wants to be nearby because we need coal for plastics um, and that's that. And you can see uh, we are now in the situation where every once in a while there are trains that are running out of, uh, of fuel and that's not an ideal situation uh, we neglected to have or not ne neglected we omitted to have dedicated fuel stations because we wanted to uh, uh, switch to electric trains but of course electric trains uh, require more power and once we have the chemical signs we need more power but I'm also a bit unsure uh, if we would then be able uh, with the research that comes on top uh, if we would have the power to spare for the trains so we will see how that goes but first things first, I will try to figure out a layout for our uh, train stations here for the chemical signs. The train stations are in and trains are already going. So next up, I think we have to figure out the smelting. Here on this side, we have iron. Here on this side, we have copper. Um, and for iron, that's our standard uh, 20 furnace uh, setup. OK. 
can copy from down here. And I know I did say that uh, whenever we have coal in, in the same setup, we use the, uh, the other furnaces. However, a reason why I decided against this is um, with these furnaces, we can have um, um, modules in them to get more out of it, be that with speed or production. And I think that's probably something that we want to have here. Uh, so there's that and think the setup of the furnaces not so interesting. We uh, did that a few times. Uh, it's just uh, iron ore to iron plates, copper ore to copper plates and then iron to steel um, in the proper ratios and then we can actually come to the uh, interesting part that being the uh, actual science so then here we have one going that way so I'll place in the other smelting arrays so we can get that out of the way and then see how we uh, place everything else around it. With all the smelting arrays now also in place we can think about how to lay out the rest that we need here. So. One thing that we should consider is basically everything that needs petroleum, so plastics and sulfur, should go down here in this kind of corner. So I think uh, sulfur maybe here in between those two and then plastic here. Um, we only need uh, to have one there and there for plastic we need two for sulfur we need one so that's that and then here nice that how that aligns actually we can then move this down here and even move it down one further and have this connected nicely and the other thing I will connect up the uh, the plastic in between engines that's basically pure steel and uh, and metal um, so basically we only need the gears for that and the pipes for that so uh, uh, let's do that uh, here we need let's go out that way split it off and 
then so that will be pipes that will be gears So, because we need to get out the uh, petroleum for our plastics. But then let's see how many uh, we need 14. So, if we bring this up like so, one. And if we want to have a beacon in there, that means the output needs to go there. And that should go there. And we need to have a, a tiny think here one two three four five six seven that will be our engines on one side and then we also need long-handed the steel so that goes up to there that goes up to there and then have the same thing on the other side and have long handed opposite Pearls make that happen. Um, and here we need a bit of power. Here we need also a bit of, of power. Um, we also need a bit of coal let's bring that down one more and maybe have it that way 
this is the output this is the input we can have this dosly just have one going there and then here and that's plastics nice so now we have the engines we have the sulfur all that's missing is the, uh, the circuits so let's complete this here uh, by putting that on a belt. And put the engines on the other side. Nice. So we need 16 uh, assembly machines for the uh, actual uh, actual uh, uh, science packs. So that's a bit larger than this one. Should fit in nicely here. So we have all this space for our circuits production. And for that, first thing is wires. Whereas we need five engines or five five machines. So let's bring that down here. Three, four, five. have input input and let's do the output there uh, how many wires do we produce 15 so actually that's that's a complete belt So the middle one we have to split the the output so one time it puts out on this side one time on this side so we have an even distribution and then let's use the small ones here robots ghosting does not really work that way let's bring those down here and next up is probably the green ones where we need just two Assemblers. So if we make it this way, green, green. there
That gives us green circuits. How many do we need? Okay, here we need 12. So maybe we'll just copy this setup here for that part. Put it in here. That's 12 assemblers. Switch that to red. Put in the pipe. We don't need this one. Okay. Had to happen at one point, but luckily we have all the materials automated, so it's just a matter of grabbing into the right chest. Then I will grab the missing belts, hook uh, the things up, and then we can have a final look at the last part of this puzzle. With all the belts placed and connected here, the copper wires get a belt of their own, and the uh, plastics and the green circuits uh, are sharing a belt because at least in theory that should be enough a at least the belt is is fast enough uh, not so sure if we're producing enough um, enough green circuits and another train has run out of fuel but let's focus uh, on this here first the last piece uh, is this one here uh, we need 16 assembly machines uh, so basically 8 and 8 16 oh yeah now it makes sense that not all assemblers uh, are working because we uh, would only need one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 12, 12. That's 12. All right. So well, let's copy this set of four, because that's eight in total. and. Copy it twice um, here behind, and then we just connect up here. There. Here, of course, we need different uh, recipes. Um, these ones. Copy the things over. And then all the inserters, which I don't have enough. What a surprise. And looks like 
same thing is true for the um, blue ones, the fast inserters. Okay, that means we will have another interruption before we can actually finish that. And while I am on the way down there, I will see to that refueling of the train. All the missing inserters and uh, belts placed, connected it up here. And all that's uh, now missing is power connection. And uh, up here we need one more pole. And with that we are producing the chemical science packs. And looking at this uh, with this level of complexity we are filling out the square here way better there's still some some room left but uh, you know you don't have to pack everything densely um, uh, so if you want to improve you don't have any any options so looking at this as compared to the green where we have large open area and then red down here where we have way higher production uh, because i think here we have six packs per second then green that's two and a half and here we have one but the nice thing with these setups is if we need more we just can copy the whole square and paste it in another square uh, and at least once we have robots that's it all right but that's all for today hope you enjoyed it and next time we will make use of all these science bottles. Until then, goodbye!